Hi guys, I welcome everyone back to the York channel. Today, I have students of the Femal Senior High School. They shall be talking about their uh, ambitions, careers they are really interested in. So, to know what these youngsters have for you, make sure to stick and stay around. Hi, my name is Ashley Kwame. I'm from the So without wasting my time, I will let them introduce themselves from left to right. We have. I am the person of Karim Fadila. And I'm Atia Richman. And I'm Bawa Kijija. I'm Dumba Genarius. And I'm Shauna Ramazi. So guys, without wasting my time, I'm going to let these youngsters to tell about their experiences at the various senior high schools and then their future ambitions. Uh, so Fadila, in uh, your first day in school, how was things like to you? The first day I stepped my foot in the famous senior high school, I was with my mom and sister. When we went to the senior house master's office, senior housemaster registered my name so we went to the school dormitories on our way the phoenix came out and were friendly to me so my mom and sister were about to go home so i feel like going with them so, when it was like that, the seniors were saying that, ah, that I should come, come, come. They were just pulling my hands and doing all of that. So, my mom and sister went. So, they gave me water to bath. It was they said, they, they were just, I like what they were doing. They what made, were they doing? Hmm? What were they doing? Huh? They prepare a cold tea for me. Hey, they, you're so friendly. Yes. Okay. So they gave me water to bath. Okay. To. But so now, um, uh, what are your future ambitions? What do you want to become in the future? I want to become a nurse in future. Why a nurse when there are so many professions? You can become a, a, a banker, a bank manager, a teacher. Do you want? To, would you want to be a teacher? No. I want to be a nurse in future. I'm not a teacher. Yeah. Uh, so. Why wouldn't you want to be a teacher? So I don't like to become a teacher because I'll be struggling a lot. I'll be talking too much. I don't. I don't also like talking. Okay. So teachers like talking. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Okay. So who inspired you to want to be a nurse? One of my aunties. Okay. How? What about her? As, uh, what about her uh, inspires you? When she wears her uniform to the work, I admire her. When you go to the hospital to see her, too, like how she'll be treating a patient in the hospital, she'll be moving around, doing all of that. I admire her a lot. Okay. Um. So Rama, how was it like your first day in school being here in this Daphne High School as a first year student? Actually, it wasn't that good at first because when I first came, I came with my mom and when she was about to leave, it was terrifying because when I came here, I didn't know anybody. It was just me alone with my pillow 
I was there on my bed, weeping, feeling like going back home, missing everybody at home. The Especially my dad. Okay, you are you are a dad about are you a dad about? Yeah. You are a dad about girl. Yeah. Okay. The seniors did so. The famous senior high school student. You have a you have a DB in your school. Um, one of my sisters in Sorofia, he prepared me. She prepared me some gashit. She asked me to eat, but gashit. What is gashit? Gari wishita. We normally call it gashit at school. In school, she prepared me gashit and. Back at home, I remember my mom telling me that if I step my foot in school, I shouldn't eat anybody's food. So I was a little bit scared of eating. Then I told her that, no, 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 I'm not hungry. Even though I was hungry, but I refused to eat that day because I was feeling lonely. I went to my bed, sat down, and I was in a thought, what would what be going on at home? So I was thinking of going back my first day when I stepped my foot here. But the next day we went for jogging. Then I meet I met some of my old school friends. One of them is Nahila. We talk, play with each other. Then I was a little bit relieved back then. So okay, good, good. So what are your future ambitions? What do you want to be in the future? A restaurant keeper. Okay, you want to be a restaurant keeper? No, no, the owner. Restaurant owner? Owner of a restaurant. Okay, then that means that, um, then that means that you want to go into entrepreneurship, right? Yeah. Good, good. So, um, uh, what kind of restaurant do you want to keep? Is it? An international restaurant or just a local restaurant? An international one. And what to be the name of the restaurant? Um, Ramsey's Best Kitchen. Okay, Ramsey's Best Kitchen. Good. But why a restaurant? Uh, most of your colleagues, being a girl like you, they want to become nurses, bank accountants, uh, bank managers. Why do you want to be? Uh, uh, why, why do you want to go into the catering services, you know, having your own restaurant? Any reason? Actually, whenever I go to a restaurant, the dressing alone attracts me to that place. So, whenever I step foot in there, I feel like, oh, one day I should also be like this man or this woman. The way he's she or he is taking care of that place so i also want to do the same not just for the dressing of the place but the things they made the cooking the catering everything the taste it tastes good so i want to be more better than what they are doing so i feel like opening one because most of my family members they do catering things at home so i'm learning small small from it so uh you heard about kc fast food i was asking whether you want to have a fast food restaurant or just a normal restaurant that's why i asked what type of restaurant is it a fast food restaurant or a normal restaurant a normal one so not like kc no okay any restaurant in ghana that inspires you chicken republic Chicken Republic. Yeah. Why? Their food tastes good. They cooked it well. The place do look nice and attractive as well. Okay. So, so um, Richmond, can you tell me what was your experience? You spoke very well. What was your ex first experience in the senior high school? Well, for me. Coming to the senior high school was nothing different to me because I attended a boarding school. So I knew what I was hey, coming what to. The, what the name of that boarding school? It was Asla. Okay. Yeah. So everything was normal to me. 
everything uh, was normal to me. So when I came here, I had one of my seniors from my old school who was also here. So after being registered into the school, he offered me a hand and we sent my things to the hostel. So immediately I was topping him. Topping, topping me so. Like sleeping, he he was like top bed. I was sleeping on his top bed. He was, he was I was serving him as a son, and he was my father. That's school father. Yeah, that's school father. Okay. So, um, you are in a senior high school. What is your future ambition? What do you want to become in the future? My future ambition is to become is to become an agric extension officer. Interesting. Why an agri extension officer? I like an agri extension officer because I like the way they interact with most of the people in the villages when they go to talk to them about farming and all those other um, food related at, uh, activities. There are a, a lot of botanical terms and uh, names with agri. Can you give us some? We have um gallus gallus domesticus which is um a fowl gallus gallus domesticus which is a fowl okay and uh, which one two? we have bahama grass which is a type of grass we have star grass spear grass and all of you might know this one which is homo sapien the scientific name of a human being okay so who inspires you to want to be an agric extension officer? My uncle. He's he's one of the agric uh, one of the famous agric extension officers we have around our town. His name is also rich one, just like me. So your uncle is your role model. Yes. So um so Khadija, what what was your experience? When you first came to the senior high school? The first day I entered the famous senior high school. I felt like I entered a strange place. You entered a strange place? <laughs> strange. Okay. Strange place. I don't know anybody there. And I came there alone. One of the teachers was my uncle. Okay, his who is that? His name is Uncle Ayus. Okay. He's teaching economics. Okay. So he brought me. When I came, he took me to the senior house master's office. He, they registered my name and they called my mom, mom, my school mommy, to come and take me to the hostel. When we were going, the seniors were just saying, Wow, beautiful girl, you're welcome, you're welcome. So okay. they were saying, Beautiful girl. Yes. So you, do you think you are beautiful? Mmm. <laughs> It seems so. Hey. You don't think? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, which one do you agree to? Yeah, yeah I agree. To, to, from my point of view, she looks beautiful. Okay. okay. When they look, listen to me. Mm -hmm. So, my school mommy packed all my things, arranged my box, everything in order. So, I was having some small food in my bag. That was spaghetti. So, I, brought, I removed it from my bag started to eat. One of the seniors came in and shouted at me. Oh, what? Hmm. That you, that what is your name? And I said, my name is Khadija. That this place, that one person don't eat. Hey. That you have to invite everybody. She was too harsh on me. And I, and I was crying. My school mom came inside and asked me and I narrated everything to her. She warned the lady never to repeat that again. We went for prep. we came to prep and we closed around 9.30 and we went back to the hostel. I was very, very hungry. I don't know what to eat. At that time, my school mom, I don't know her anyway, so I was not that free with her. I went to my box. I picked some small quantity of gari, added small granules. When I was about to eat, I, I, felt, I felt like crying. Because I've never, I've never got taken this thing by this time of the night. And I, and I haven't taken it. 
and I and I don't always take it regularly. I always take it maybe twice in a year. So as I was crying, I went and put them in the dustbin and went and climbed my bed and started crying, crying, crying. <laughs> I was thinking of my mom, my lovely sisters. <laughs> so that means that you were nostalgic about home. Yes. Okay. I feel like going back home. That's what I wonder I feel like going back home. I came out one day to fetch water and I met this my lovely sister, Fedila. She asked me that you're going to fetch water and I said yes. She just asked me that what is my name and I said my name is Khadija. I said okay, can we be friends? That day, that was the happiest day of my life. Why? Because I don't because I don't think someone will come to me, a strange person like me, and just said, Can you be my friend? That day I was happy. So we became friends. And she now changed my life to not to be lonely again, to be a happy girl. So are you a DB girl or a mommy girl? I'm a, or none of them? I'm a mommy girl. <laughs> a mommy girl. Okay. So another mommy girl in the school. <laughs> right. So what do you want to become in the future? Actually, I want to become a journalist. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why a journalist? Mm. In fact, I like the way journalists do their work, especially how they present the news. And mostly, my role model is Aisha Yakubu. Whenever I see her on the television presenting the news, in fact, I feel like becoming a journalist. And I and my dream is to one day become who she is. And because of that, I'm doing. I'm offering general. I'm offering. As. What's your favorite subject? English. Okay. Can you give me any difficult word? English. Yes, English. The longest word you have ever come across. Hmm? <laughs> she feels like your mother. Do you think your mother is in support to you wanting to be a journalist? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you want to limit it to Ghana or to one day become an international journalist? To one day become an international journalist. Internationally, which journalist do you admire? Mm. Okay, um, Janarius. Yeah. Um, you are in the senior high school. Your first day of being the senior high school. How was it like to you? Well, the first day I came to the to this campus as a student of the famous senior high school. I came here with my sister. She also completed the same school I am now. We went to the senior master's office for my registration. After we have gone through the necessary procedures to register me into this school as a student. When we came, doing everything, when she was going home, I felt nothing because I don't know what was going on. It was then I turned back and I saw a friend I completed with the same school. I completed with in the same school. He even gave me a helping hand to carry my loot to the boys' hostel. When we went there, we met the seniors, they welcomed me. So one even took my box inside our dormitory inside our dormitory. They placed my bed on top of one of the seniors' bed to be serving as a son. Okay. So, uh, what is your future ambition and what course are you offering? Well, my future ambition is to become a professor in mathematics and I'm offering general arts. Interesting. And general, you're offering general arts? To be okay. in elective Why do you want to be a professor in mathematics? Well, per critical observation back at basic school, I was fumbling in mathematics. I found it difficult to understand whenever they teach. And so it means you are not good in mathematics at the GSS? Yes, please. Okay. And when I came to the famous senior high school, I decided to offer general arts because I collaborated with my sister as to the program which I'll be offering when I come to the famous senior high school. Uh, she told me when I come, 
I should come and offer general art as a program. That when I come, I should look through the electives and choose the Dagari as one of my electives to offer. But how I find it difficult in March when I came, when they share in the various classes, the electives they pasted on our various doors. I checked through. Although I saw the gallery, the elective they pasted on our doors. I saw elective maths, which was a strange subject to me. I sent it to one of my seniors and asked. So he gave me a brief, a br brief explanation about elective maths and what it's all about. I decided to go into elective maths class to offer it and as one of my electives to perfect my week my weaknesses so I know that one will help me to boost up my understanding in mathematics so so far how is it now are you uh, able to um, get your way through with mathematics now are you doing well now yes please okay so the last score uh, what did we get the last semester's exams well when we came and we wrote our first exams I had a one in Core mathematics. Okay, so you have improved. Yes, please. Okay. And D seven in elective mass. Okay, so small, small. So there's vast difference between when you're in DSS and now. Yes, please. Okay, good. What you like about the senior high schools and what you don't like about the senior high school? Um, Fadila, what are some of the things that are happening in the senior high school that you don't like and think that it can be changed? Same. Okay, same. And the cleaning the compound. Yes. So it, it means you you want that the government should employ people to be sweeping their campuses. Mm. So that students don't sweep their campuses. Okay. Then your house don't you sweep? I normally sweep. So why should it be difficult to sweep here? Say because of time. By the time that you'll be taking your bath, they will they will suck you from the hostel that if you come to the dining hall cleaning. Okay. So, um, uh, Rama, what do you think in the senior high schools, if you get a chance, you want government to change? Or what do you like about the senior high school? I think they should change a way of studying the class. Okay, like how? Actually, you know, in this, most of the schools, we are lacking some of the materials we need to learn. So, if possible, they should provide us as many as possible materials for learning. Let's take the science lab, for example. There should have been a lot of things in there. For science students. But inside there, even though they are, but it's not enough. Okay. But what about school makes you feel like going back home? And you don't you don't feel like staying in school. The four o'clock waking up. Okay. When we wake up. We still feel when you wake up, you are still dozing. So you are still dozing. Okay. So I always feel like if I was still in at home, I would have been on my bed by then. Okay. So what time do you always wake up at home? I wake up at five, go to work, then come back and go to the office. And wake up then, finally. At that time, yeah, I can wake up at any time. Anytime. Okay. Like so you wish the school they will change the waking up time from Maybe four to four to five. Okay. But because of our water problem, we have to wake up earlier okay. so that you can get some water to bath. Okay. Yes, um, uh, Richmond. What do you think in school makes you think that if it can be changed, it will be good? Maybe the government could provide. Uh, for example, a mall, a mall, a mall mower, 
or more mowers for the schools. So when the grasses grow to um, a high level, they but you are strong them. boys. Do you need government to do that? I know strong boys that you can eat. We are strong, but mostly these grasses you don't know what you can find inside. Okay. So, Khadija, what about you? What do you think in this school makes you feel like you should just run back home? See, actually, prep, during prep time, we always go to prep at 7 o'clock and close around 9 .30. And what I'm seeing is that the government should please the time from 7 to 9. And we always use one hour. And they always tell to prepare something small and take before you go to bed. So, we always go at 9.30 during prep. We'll go to the hostel. They will even, the students will not allow you to sleep. What do you think should be changing in school? Well, the days to a semester are too many for students to stay on campus. If the government possible should reduce the days. Okay. To three or two and a half months for students to stay on campus will be better as compared to students staying on campus about six or five months. Okay. All right. I want to say hi to my parents, my family members, my school teacher, a best mathematical mathematics teacher. Master Pedal, hi everybody, hi demonstration students. Please take your studies hard. You meet me Hi to my lovely mother and to my sister. May God grant you to stay to stay focused, steady hard, to accomplish what you are aiming to become in future. I guess I'm saying briefly hi to my lovely mom and my lovely sister at Laura Senior High. In my former school, I'm just saying, I just saying hi today. I want to say a big hi to my uh, my cousin in um, Legon. She's studying in law. I want to tell you that God should bless you and take your studies serious. I want to say a big hi too to my mom, my dad, and all my friends back at home. Hi, lovely sisters, Muna, and my mom. I'm greeting you all. Just want to say big hi to all the in the famous senior high school and to our respected headmaster. Salut, salut, on the damba. May he stay blessed, stay calm. God bless you. And continue to provide for the students. May we all come out with A A A A throughout. Stay blessed, the famous senior high school forever. Bye bye.